Cool. And it looks like we're hearing our first set is going to be the real thing versus Logan. So that's exciting, actually. Logan was casting last night, I believe, the gallant local grand final. So that was really fun to watch. Um, and his opponent's going to be the real thing, who's just been like doing really, really good throughout this online era. It's just kind of been around for a while, too. Yeah, should be fun. Um, Logan is the artist formerly known as LSD, so uh, you'll be seeing his uh, mark coming up soon. And uh, the real thing, uh, one of the better Falcos probably, we made a list like in the top six or so, right, of Falcos mm -hmm. active right now. So it uh, should be a pretty high level set. Um, I haven't really thought through the list of best Falcos, but I'm sure he's in the top six or so. Um, yeah, so I guess this will be an interesting test to see if uh, Logan has leveled up from the you know proverbial summit level up that you get from going to that event i feel like everyone gets really really good after you get to go to one of those events especially one as big as summit 11 but uh, i believe our players I, are getting wonder, ready right now i wonder if that uh, summit level up is as true um yeah we can go into the set uh, the i wonder if it's as true uh, nowadays with slippy and access to playing top players all the time regardless of you know like needing to have them in person yeah, anyway, absolutely. Really but game one by LSD or by Logan to begin with. Ooh. Yeah, crazy good. Oh, quad jabs from uh, Lo uh, real thing. But I was going to say Logan just all over it when it comes to just figuring out edge cancel mix ups or something like that, where he just does the fair land on stage and makes this entire punish happen right now. Keeps it going as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, not, <laughs> the punish is so good. He could have just rolled very, up very, after that. <laughs> very, very sweet punish. Uh, three really good up airs into a grab and then led to all that. Yeah, so I guess as as the Marth player, Blur, what do you think uh, is kind of real things position in here? Because I, I know you kind of have an idea of what Logan needs to do for goals here. But uh, I, a lot of the onus is kind of on real thing, right? Logan's kind of been the hotness since Summit happened. Uh, what does real thing need to do to kind of make a win happen? Well, the main thing is, is, as Falco, you want to be able to put Marth in a cornered position. So putting a uh, laser on the corner, in the corner on Marth. So if Marth's in the corner, put get a laser out. You also just never want to stop moving. Um, basically, mm -hmm. Marth is a lot better when nothing's happening, um, and Falco's better when a lot's happening. Um, and so the more imp like more things you can throw on the screen, hitboxes. Etc. The better. Oh, wow, it's yeah, like we're talking five. about win conditions, but I maybe it's kind of more of a not loss condition for real thing on this first one because oh my god, Logan's just clocking in right now, reading every single option, double jab enough, and then turn around with the grab, keeping it going. I actually reads that jump too, and the real thing just gets away with it. Almost gets that one as well. Yeah, it almost looks like Real Thing's getting a bit caught up on the platforms, and that's where Logan is thriving right I, now. I like tech chasing as Marth. I, I get it. But those ones right there, when you have a Falco at 80%, <laughs> I, I, I don't get it, right? Because Marth gets a guaranteed aerial that, that's a pure mix-up into uh, like fair dare and stuff like that. And sure. so in that stage positioning, I'm less sure. I generally think that mixing it in is, is very strong, especially when they can DI to top platform. So one of the very important things you have to learn as Marth um, is that Fox and Falco, they're not so different in weight in, term, in terms of changing the combo game. But one of the big differences is that Falco hits top platform way sooner off up throw. Mm -hmm. And sure. so there's a, for Battlefield, it's a little bit easier because it's so high. So they, it's harder for them to get to top platform unless they jump to it. Uh, but um, with, because Falco goes so high, the tech chase is actually a little bit better on things like Yoshi's and Fountain, where he could just go to the top platform, do like a slide off, do some crazy stuff, and just get out of your stuff. Um, yeah, I guess Yoshi's and Fountain in mind. Uh, where do you think Real Thing would want to take this one? Because I do believe his preferred counter pick, uh, according to PG stats at least, is Yoshi's, but I'm kind of nervous to see that as, as a game two selection here. Yeah, Yoshi's or Dreamland um, are usually the two common picks. Um, Marth used to be considered amazing on Yoshi's, but nowadays it's it's often a counter pick against him just because he loves center stage, he loves abusing it, and um, you know the more stage there is, the better center stage becomes usually. And, yeah, uh, I think so. we're getting ready to get into game two right now, so we'll see if it's Yoshi's or Dreamland here. I'm hearing uh, Beachland 64 though. Mm -hmm. So basically, there's a trade off here where you get survivability as the Falco, which is awesome. 
Um, makes Mark have to make a few more reads. Oh, Not many reads there, though. That was actually just a one-hit kill. Yeah, um, and the way that that kind of opened up was was problematic to just the starting the wall jump a little bit higher up. Logan was all over it with double jabs. Super easy pickup at that point, and Logan essentially just starts off this game with a one-stock lead. Late hit in air, maybe uh, enough to find the edge guard. Approach. Yeah, this is one of the bad habits that I, I think uh, many Mars have uh, talked to uh, Logan about. That Nair approach you just did, you just gave a whole stock for it. Yep. A few too many approaching Nairs. Wow, just Ends lets it, it go with the forward, forward smash. smash. Yeah. But he still keeps it going here, too. So, I mean, huge kudos. Can find a stock reverse. Dolphin Slash not quite enough. Finds the tech there for real thing. He lives to see another day. But, oh my gosh, just all over this punish. That works. Blur, how uh, many how the, many up B's was that? Yeah, that was like three. You're supposed to go down there and just side B them once, but he made a little hard yeah. for himself and still got it. <laughs> okay, so we got yeah, chain grab way, here. Full stock Very nice. Lead. Tech to the platform, not to, quite there enough. You need to up tilt there um, when they text the platform and, when, and they're trying to go for the slide off. You saw that um, real thing went for the slide off by going to a roll towards the center yep, um, yep, yep. on the tech platform tech chase. Uh, the up tilt is the answer to uh, a lot of the slide off Ow. stuff. Ooh, tech Ooh, okay. Ooh, the edge cancels looking good and he catches it with the <laughs> again. Yeah, again, just. One hit of a uh, uh, dancing blade again. I agree with you. That's all he really needs in that I position. Don't, I don't understand right now with Logan's uh, punish game. He's getting a lot of the hardest things and then missing the easiest <laughs> yeah. edge guard. So it's confusing to me as a viewer. <laughs> Real thing with the slide off back air. At 129%, though, a single hit might be enough. Not able to connect with the forward smash there. And here comes Logan again with those nares you mentioned earlier. Yeah, bo both of those, by the way, could have gotten destroyed. Against a, a Falco that was a little more ready, uh, those could have been humongous openings. The the okay. nair, I, so there's a nair is probably Mars' best move in the whole matchup. So that isn't to say it's not good. It's just when you put your whole body into it, it makes it a lot more risky. And so the kind of nairs I like are dash forward, jump back nairs, and, and, and stuff like that. You have to watch Zane real closely to see how he does his nairs. They're very difficult to do, but you can zone them such that every time they approach, they just run into that sword, and, and, and it works really well. Sure, yeah, real thing with the right idea, looking for, oh, the reset on the ledge as well, but now it's getting mixed up, and he might lose game two for this. Gets reverse oh off um, in that last stuff on the right side. Yeah, that's pretty brutal, because, I mean, again, he had the right idea starting that edge guard off, going for uh, CC on the weak hit of the Dolphin Slash from Logan to down smash immediate. Didn't quite get there in time, and then Logan just completely reversals, takes it all the way. Yeah. Um, right now, real things being outplayed pretty bad, but um, some of it is not taking the opportunities that are in front of him, um, and a lot, a lot of it is just there's a massive punish game differential. Um, Logan's yeah, game far more competitive solid. game than game one, though. Uh, I guess going into game three, let's see if we go back. It looks like he probably will, but I wonder if maybe a change of scenery is what he needs at this point to maybe pick up the pace on him. Who knows? Okay, Facing down away, potential 3-0 here. Grab. That Nair could have actually been CC'd. Ooh. Okay, doesn't yeah, I, I wonder... And again, I think the name of the I, game here is Logan's making it work either way. But some of these things, it's like, I wonder why not just raw grab in some situations or, you know, look for something. For instance, he goes for like a up tilt and then converts it into huge damage where grab might have just done the exact same thing. That Nair comes out again. There's that Nair. Yep. This time he hits it. This time he hits it. All right. Yeah, I think just by indication of these games, and correct me if you if you disagree, but it feels like Logan really likes to be active off ledge, where a lot of other Marths in that exact position, where he oh my, what? <laughs> in yeah, that's, those that's exact positions, think, Logan think, would go for, or other Marths would go for, like a counter, for instance, right? Yeah. I think Mewtwo King popularized that Nair. That Nair is a uh, anti-Marth uh, killer tech. You just do that, they get pushed off, they get going to the second hit. Great reactions, because I thought that the Falco might go to the side platform with that DI. Yep. Uh, but clearly Logan knew better and knew that you could just have smash. Oh, thought he caught his jump, but 
not quite. And then the reversal again, just real thing being over aggressive by the ledge and Logan's making it hurt every single time. Okay, real thing now up. See if he can hold on to this lead. Dreamland's really good for holding on to leads here. But he has no jump, Unless... I don't think. Yeah, yeah. he just, just got caught up in his movement um, from top platform to the bottom. Uh oh. Watch out now. This is where that's where you got to run off for. No there. jump again. Okay, but gets it anyway. Wow. He's just getting super just like outplayed first. Like it just yeah, first lead of the game just converts into a complete turnaround for Logan. He might just end the set right here. Oh my god. A lot of games. Yeah, I mean it. It's a it's a good try, um, but uh, clearly a, a lot of things to look into uh, there. Um, nowadays, if we're being honest, if we look like best best Falcos. Um, mm -hmm. You don't actually see Marth Gimp Falco that often, like because they're sure. Obviously, Marth has a, a Gimp game against Falco, obviously, but. You can sweep swap double jump to the ledge. You have you have a you have the air dodge. You have double jump down air. You have you have, you have a few things you can do, and um, also you just don't have to go towards the ledge. That's also a huge part. Um, mm -hmm. Nowadays you watch like let's say a mango or even ginger against the best Mars Zane or whatever. You see maybe a a gimp a, a set, but like when you get to like sure. yeah, six, yeah. seven, eight gimps, and that's like what's happening. Um, then uh, there's, there's something wrong with either the recovery or or how you're just dealing with the ledge. So. Yeah, no, I think I think good effort, especially games two and three from Real Thing. But Logan just kind of had had that matchup pretty figured out and unlock. Uh, I do believe that was also loser side as well. I'm pretty sure Tyler Swift knocked Logan into the losers bracket earlier today, if I'm not mistaken. Pikachu uh, Mart. Another dude. Pikachu taking these Marts, you know. Nothing you could do. Nothing you could do. I'm sure, yeah. I'm Sad. sure you, that must strike a nerve when I say that to you. <laughs> Sad. What could I do? Nothing.